Hey friends, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a simple card. I'm going to be doing some simple cards on my ch my channel because we are in the middle of a move and most of my craft supplies are packed away. So I have limited supplies to work with, but I wanted to show you that even if that's the case, you can still go ahead and have fun making cards. So for my cards, I'm going to use some Gina K masking paper and I don't have a circle die with me. So I just traced around the bottom of a cup and cut it out by hand. And I've made my own little circle that way. I've already used this piece of masking paper, but I'm making another card in a similar style. So I'm just going to go ahead and reuse it. And and I love reusing my masking paper, especially with stamps, um, because you can stamp it on the masking paper, cut it out, use it for your cards, and then keep it with your stamp set, and you have a mask ready to go. So I'm going to show you a few different ways to use masking paper to create a scene. The first way here is I'm using my circle to mask off an area that will be a moon in the sky. And I'm using a variety of different blues to get the sky where I want it to be. I'm starting with my lightest color putting down a layer of that lightest color and then I'm going to darken the sky from the top getting lighter as it goes to the bottom um, just by adding different varieties of blues over the top of each other. Now ink blending it works best if you can use it on a slick surface so I'm using my tonic um, travel mat today. I brought this with me on our move. My big mats are um, packed away um, but this travel mat is really handy. It comes with a little um, sleeve that you can put it in keep it from getting damaged and I zoomed out a little bit here so you can see the whole map it is quite a bit smaller but it's a still a great size that you can work on and I'm doing my ink blending on top of this now having a smooth surface like I mentioned is really great because it helps that ink move onto your card and you can go ahead and blend it out once you're done blending, go ahead and peel off that masking paper. And I love using this masking paper because it's the perfect stickiness. It stays on while you're ink blending, but it peels off really well so it doesn't rip your paper. And after I've got all of my ink blending done, I'm adding some shiny stars to the background using this glitter brush marker from scrapbook.com. Just getting a little bit of that glitter flowing and then I'm flicking it onto my background just using the cap. You could also use a stamp block or something with an edge just to flick those brushes toward your background and make some starry splatters. So this is the second background that I'm doing. I've already made one and I used a few different colors of glitter pens. I've used this one and I used a few Nuvo glitter pens as well. They have a lot of different colors of their glitter pens. So I mixed up my first background, but I'm just going with the scrapbook.com glitter for this second one. You can see as it dries, it reacts with that distress ink and makes some really beautiful splatters and splotches. I'm going to go ahead and stamp out a custom sentiment on this background. I don't have a whole lot of stamp sets with me, but I do have these letter stamp sets from scrapbook.com. And if you have some really great um, alphabet stamp sets, you can go ahead and make your own custom um, sentiment for any card that you want. So I'm spelling out the word hugs here, lining them up on my Misty, and then I'm going to stamp them out with my scrapbook.com hybrid black ink. Now you might need to stamp this several times to get a nice crisp sentiment. Um, so that's why I love using the Misty. It will keep all of your alphabet letters in place and straight, and you can also stamp multiple times to get a really nice black impression. So I've got that hugs all stamped out. I'm also using this sending sentiment. This is die cut from a Trinity Stamps die set. It's the, um, I want to say sending hugs or monster hugs die set, but you get the sending, you get the hugs together. And then I like to just um, cut out the sending with some black paper, add a little glue, and then just nestle it right on top of that hugs sentiment there. And it's a really simple, really easy card front that you can make. Um, even if you're just in a hurry to send out a card to someone, just add a little bit of ink blending and add a fun sentiment and you've got a card ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take my card front here, put some foam adhesive on the back, and then I'll go ahead and adhere it down to a card base. 
The cards that stock that I'm using are some card flats from scrapbook.com and also the pre-folded card bases. Now these are the top folding cards, but if you want to go ahead and make it um, a sideways card like I'm doing here, you can always have the fold on the side. It's not going to matter at all. Um, so that's what I did here. So that's card number one. I'm going to show you another way to use your masking paper, and that is by cutting it. I just freehand cut it into some wavy shapes, and that's going to become some clouds for my background. So I ink blended this background the same way I did the first one, and I'm just going to go ahead and layer this wavy um, masking paper over the moon and add some really light blue tumbled glass distressed ink. I'm just adding this ink right along the edges of those waves and you can see as I peel it off here it's going to make some really light looking clouds that kind of give these clouds the effect like they're glowing in the moonlight so it's kind of a cloudy um, full moon sky here and I really love doing ink blending I love doing um, moonlit scenes and I <laughs> just like doing ink blended scenes in general. I think ink blending is one of my favorite techniques. You can just mix all the colors together and do so many things with stencils and masking paper. So I've definitely made sure to keep my masking paper out, my distress inks out, keep some of my stencils with me so I can go ahead and ink blend some quick and easy cards. You can see here that as I finish putting some clouds on my background. I just peel up that masking paper and then um, position it down again where I want it to go. And I'm just creating layers of clouds on the bottom of my cardstock of my scene. Now you can go ahead and do different colors. You could add a little bit more color and make them a little bit more bold. But like I mentioned, I wanted to keep these fairly light, make it look like they're kind of glowing. And then I decided to extend those clouds up onto the front of the moon. So it looks like there's some coming in front of that moon as well. So when I'm doing ink blending, I always like to tell people to just take your time. Um, sometimes it does take a little bit of elbow grease to get a good blend. And once you get more ink onto your cardstock, it's actually going to move and blend together a little bit nicer. Um, once you get it saturated a little bit, you'll find that you can blend a little bit more ink on there. They're going to move a little bit and blend together. So take your time, keep working on it, keep um, blending it out and then you'll get a nice background. So I've got all of those um, clouds ink blended on my background and I'm building my custom sentiment again. I've stamped out the word love kind of the same way I did my first sentiment and now I'm taking some of these smaller alphabet um, stamps and stamping out the rest of the sentiment. I was going to use my Misty for these tiny stamps, but I thought it was easier to line them up with a small stamp block from scrapbook.com. And I'm using my Versa Fine black ink for this because it gives you a really nice crisp black impression. A lot of the times you only have to stamp it once. And um, I wanted to go with that when I was stamping by hand. When I stamp with my Misty, I do like my hybrid ink because it does dry faster. Um, the uh, Versa Fine Black is a pigment ink, so it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. So I do go with my hybrid ink more often when I can um, because I'm not always immune to um, smearing my black ink. Um, so I don't like taking that chance. I try to use my hybrid ink as much as I can. Um, but when I'm hand stamping, the uh, Versa Fine Black Pigment Ink does great because it gives you a nice crisp black impression. So I'm stamping out the word moon here and I had to do it in increments because I only have one letter O. So I stamp out the first two letters and now I'm stamping out the next two letters um, to finish that word moon. And unfortunately my camera turned off on me at the end here so I didn't get to show stamping out the rest of my sentiment. But I do have pictures coming up that you'll be able to see the full card. And I also have links down below to any of the products that you might be interested in. Otherwise, if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, um, comment if you have any questions, like, subscribe, tap that bell for notifications, and just do all the things. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.